Hi, my name is Ryan Deleuze and I created Alive. This tutorial is on the Alive clinical version two-screen display. There's two ways to open the two-screen display. One of them, if you know you're going to be using the two-screen display from the beginning, is to open the Alive for Wild Divine folder in your program files and click Alive clinical version two-screen display. Otherwise, you can always launch the secondary screen from within Alive. So when I'm in Alive, I choose a user. And then I press the back quote key to open the clinical control panel and click Launch Secondary Graphing Screen. Now, the first time you do this, the secondary graphing screen may appear over the original screen, so you might need to change between the two Alive screens in the bottom, or restore the window and move it to your desired location. Next, you're going to want to choose which graph you're going to be viewing. So for example, I'm going to choose the accumulated and spectral graphs. And you see that it says start a session in the main Alive window. So let's run dual drive on the other side. So in this situation, I'm going to be able to see detailed statistics about heart rate variability, heart rate smoothness, a frequency spectrum, while on the other screen, and perhaps with a client, we're going to be running dual drive. So in a clinical setting, you might be looking at the graphs, whereas the client might be playing a game, like dual drive or one of the environments. You can also set this up to display two different graphs if you wish by launching a graph on the secondary screen. So you could be watching the heart rate variability graphs on one screen and on the other screen viewing the detailed information provided about skin conductance level. So now you see my training has started and on one screen I'm playing dual drive and on the other screen I have uh, my detailed graphs. One great thing about having the secondary graph screen open is that you can add a comment during training. For example, if the user reports some experience or you notice some change within the user, you can write a comment. Also, this allows you to pause the session using this pause button. When you're done with the secondary graph screen, just close it. Or if you prefer to change games displayed on the main screen, you can do that, and that will of course end the session also on the secondary graph screen. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.